Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a cool little tip on how to add the registry editor to the control panel options on your Windows computer. So if you were to open up the control panel, which I think is a good place just to begin this demonstration here, you would notice the registry editor is not an applicable option here and it's not being displayed. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to get it to appear in the control panel item listing. So in order to do that, very simple. We're just going to go ahead and right click on a blank area of our desktop, select new, and then select text document. You can save this as whatever you want for right now. We're just going to keep it as new text document and you want to double click on it. Now I'm going to have a link to a pastebin file in the description of my video. It's going to have all the information I want you guys to paste in here. So go to that link. It's going to start with Windows Registry Editor version 5.0 and it's going to end with Registry Editor in parentheses. So again, copy that and then I'm going to just paste it into my text document here. So this is what it should look like on your end or very similar to this. And once you have it as it appears, you want to go left click on the File tab select save as. First thing you want to do is change the save as type. Click inside the drop down and select all files and then file name. Delete whatever is in here. We're going to just call it registry editor entry entry control panel. I mean, it doesn't have to be too specific but I just want to make it specific enough that we'll be able to reference it and you want to add a .reg to the end of this so again whatever you want to name it is fine and then add a .reg we're going to save it to our desktop here and once it is done you shouldn't have to mess with the encoding at all it should stay as UTF-8 select save once it's done close it here now there should be a registry entry on our desktop here you can go ahead and double click on it select yes and now it's going to ask you sure you want to continue. You can select yes or you can go ahead and create a backup of your registry before you do this. In order to create the backup of your registry, you can just open up the start menu, type in regedit, so registry editor, right click on it, select run as administrator, select yes. And in order to create the backup, you would select file and then export, file name, date that you're making the backup is what I'd recommend export range, keep that at all, and then save it to an easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, you just put select file and then import. So again, pretty straightforward process there, and then you just navigate over to the backup of the registry, and you would save that as such. And anyway, now we're going to just proceed here, and we're going to include this in the registry. So select yes. It should say it has been successfully added to the registry. Go ahead and select OK. So you can delete all of this right now. You can delete that original text file as well as the registry editor entry. You don't need it anymore on your desktop. If you had a backup made, you should definitely hold on to that. But generally speaking, this really shouldn't probably need it. At least I probably wouldn't save it. But anyway, if we open up the start menu, you will need to restart your computer for this to take effect. So let's just go ahead and restart our device here.
Okay, guys, now for the moment of truth. If we open up the control panel. And again, it should be set to view by large or small icons. You see now we have a registry editor entry. So definitely a cool little feature there, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.